what we're going to be doing today is making some of these little scrubbing brushes now you can make them you know sorry get that out of the way i do have to um just finish off um shaping them but they're easy to make and they're great little miniature brushes uh, i'm just finishing this one as well which is a um, yard one and if i wanted to well i'm going to <laughs> just pop the broom handle in there it's like a broom I'm just gonna do that and we do have to put the glue in so where's my uh, glossy accents so we're gonna make the scrubbing brush and the broom handle just pop that in there like that and then we pop the handle in I'm gonna push that right in And then I will just pull that back and snip that. So I'm just going to do that first, just so you can... There. And then that's it. You've made yourself a little garden broom. I would say that would be about right. And then you can just colour that. So I'm just going to share that with you how we made it. That's the broom and the scrubbing brush. Now you need some little um, clippings. I just cut loads of little ones. Not the bad bits with bad bits in, we don't want them. Just cut lots of little ones. I'm just using Jewett string. But you can do these in different colours. If you'd want a sweeping brush that's pink, do it in pink. Okay, so we've got our little bits there. Now, this is the way I do it. I'm not sure about how anybody else does it, but I'm hand-making mine um, from the start. Now, obviously, you need your skewer. Then you need your balsa wood. Now, I'm just going to cut a piece of balsa wood. That's, for me, the handle. I'm going to make the scrubbing brush first. Like that. And then that will do the brush. So I have two little pieces. We're going to get both. Sorry, one little piece. We're going to get two. So, first of all, we're going to do the scrubbing brush. And like I said, all you do, and this is how I did it. So I don't know how you do it. But I'm using the hot glue. And make sure you get all your little pieces. And I just used them, did a couple of rows, or just glued them on randomly. They thicken up eventually. I mean, if you want to cut them all the same size you can and then say it's messing about, then all I did was I chopped them up like that, ruffled. You just do that straight away. You've got a scrubbing brush. Now, oops, glue everywhere. All I did then was to shape. I'm going to use this one because it's a lot easier to uh, shape the... Because it's balsa wood, it's very, very easy to file down, sand down, whatever you want to call it. And you can grab it by them because you've glued them on, it ain't going to come off. And they're quite easy to make so anybody wanting to do miniatures and have never done them they're really it's 
it's when you use your imagination what you can come up with. Now, I think my bristles are a little bit too long, but I think they'll be fine for my um, sweeping brush. So what I'm going to do is take my skewer. I, oh, I've got my skewer here, haven't I? I'm just going to, because it's balsa wood, I should be able to just put a... That's it. Yeah, and I'm just going to glue that into there. Uh, cut the handle about there. Where's my pliers? Hey! Shut off! Because it hadn't dried, you silly woman. Nah. It will. It'll dry. But there you go, look. Different brooms, and I love them. <laughs> so we'll leave that to dry a minute. To be honest, I'm going to also put in a little bit of... Um, hot glue. I know people say don't mix, why? Just do it. Just do it. There you go. Now I'm going to make the scrubbing brush. <laughs> You're going to cut it down a little bit wide for me. take any of the fibres out that you don't need and then once that's gone you just cut it down a little bit of effort that's all it takes and I have mine a little bit smaller than that and there you go I've got my little um, scrubbing brush and how many people remember using them because the kids today wouldn't even know what one was they wouldn't even know what it looked like And there you go, two little scrubbing brushes. I think that could be cut down a little bit more. I like them to look, you know, um, well, like they were. Short bristle things. Look at that. And then the yard brush, which when it's dry properly, I will colour and you can shape them. Um. <laughs> there you go. Easy. And all you do is fluff them up. Like that. Just fluff them up and they'll be ready for anybody's yard. <laughs> be a long time doing mine though. We're one of these. There you go. I hope you like them. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.